Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Psych Bytes. Today we are covering on the topic of Amphil Entrance Test Paper of 2019 belonging to a REN Pass, which is particularly of a clinical psychology paper. Uh, in that year, in 2019, what all sorts of questions come, we will try to cover it part by part. So in the first part, we have covered few of the questions. So let's begin with the first question. So first question is, the first edition of DSM-5, oh sorry, first edition of DSM was published by APA in which year? If you want to try, you can try which one among this is the year as they have given very close year you can see how close they have given 1951 52 53 and 54 so according to you which one is let's see so if you see this timeline according to this you will see the dsm was published in 1952 this covers the timeline of all the development that has taken place of the publishing so in 1952 DSM was published now let's move to second question when was DSM 5 published so it's a very direct question again if you follow that chart let's move to the chart again so DSM 5 was published in 2013 now let's move to question number three who coined the term neurosis so again based on a question of how we are well versed with the history so for this again the direct answer is william cullen option b let's see yeah from this year to this year william cullen he gave the term neurosis now let's move to question number four again same type of question who coined the term psychiatry so psychiatry was term coined by john christian rail which is again option b these things are like very direct you need to you know cover up these things by write these things of the history on your wall and put it there so that you could remember these very close options they have given like the when was dsm published so uh, 5152 so try to you know Remember it as much as time you can give to the history part considering the in past paper Let's move to question number five again based on history of clinical psychology. Who is the founder of clinical psychology? Again, it's a very direct Let's guess which one it is Leitner Whitmer again. You can follow this You'll get to know in this it's mentioned Now let's move to question number six who coined the term catatonia, cyclothymia, and symptom complex? So, in this, the answer is Karl Baum Karl, which is first option, KL Karl Baum. Let's see. Yeah. Now, let's move to question number seven. Who coined the term dementia percox? So this is when you'll study schizophrenia history. It's beginning of all the chapters. No? Whenever, uh, whatever book you'll pick up, uh, always the history of the where the term is coined and all according to the chapter it is given. So in schizophrenia chapter, we'll find this dementia percox, which was previously called. Uh, so this term was given by Kreplin. So first option, Kreplin. Yes. And let's move to eighth question. Who coined the term hypnotism again a very direct question whosoever has done the history part this is James Braid let's see yeah this is the answer now moving on to question number nine who is the father of psychoanalysis yes this is the simplest one Sigmund Freud now option number B and last question for today's first part uh, the one who coined the the term schizophrenia is Bleuler as simple as possible and direct. So, conclusion from today's first 10 questions of 2019 paper is that you really need to work on the history part. For that, you can refer, check out uh, books appendix part. In that, now it's given who is the father of what and 
टर्म्स एंड ऑल हु हैज़ बीन गिवन दिस सो ट्राई टू कवर द बेसिक बुक्स का पीछे का अपेंडिक्स इन डैट यू विल फाइंड हु ऑल फादर इज दिस दीज डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू लर्न इट नाउ डैट यू नो कि वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे आर गिविंग टू ट्राई टू डू इट सो दिस वॉज फॉर द लर्निंग ऑफ टूडेज दीज फर्स्ट एंड क्वेश्चन डैट यू हैव टू लर्न द फादर मेन फादर्स हु कॉन द टर्म एंड ऑल ईयर एंड ऑल या दिस इज वेरी फैक्ट not fact based it's like something very direct aesthetic part which you have to learn so it's difficult but give it some time and practice it for different different father do quiz with each other and hopefully you will remember it will take like week or two and you will be able to remember but keep revising otherwise you will keep forgetting this because this is a static part so thank you for watching and see you in the next part of the video